Keep your heads up and your arms covered, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. And here's the verse of the day. And it's Philippians 3.14. I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And that's what I'm doing, all glory to our Father. And that's what we should all be doing, family. So keep pushing. The baby's about to come out. If you draw near to God, he will draw near to you. Now, real quick, before we jump into the signs and the sun, the moon, and the stars, right where Jesus Christ said they would be, as you can see right here on the Times of Israel, chaos erupts as protesters block roads, clash with police after judicial law passes. And it's all over the internet, family. Israel is approaching civil war, and some are saying it already started. And as you can see right here, it says, an Israeli civil war? In the looming civil war, Israel is entering a civil war. We are going into a civil war now, says former Israeli prime minister. Iran media celebrates possible Israeli civil war. Well, the reason why I'm going over this is Jesus Christ is about to come and get us. Luke chapter 17, verse 26 through 30. Jesus Christ said when he comes, people will be getting married and planting and building and buying and selling and eating and drinking. And as you know, Syria has been in civil war for 12 years and they're not eating and drinking and planting and building and getting married there. And they're planning to do the same thing in Israel as they did in Syria. And most of you know, ever since Moses sent out the 12 spies and 10 of them came back with the false report, Israel has been cursed on the 9th of Av. And the temple was destroyed twice on the 9th of Av. And bad things always happen to them on the 9th of Av, ever since then. And here's what's going on now. They're going into a civil war. And tomorrow is the 9th of Av. 726, Harpazo. So keep your heads up, family, because the rapture could happen any time and sudden destruction can happen any time. And we could be caught up tomorrow on 726 Harpazo on the 9th of Av. And that'll probably go down in history as the worst thing that's ever happened to the Jewish people. If we leave and they get left behind, it's going to be devastating for them. And all knees will bow and all tongues will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, God Almighty. Now on to the Revelation 12 sign that supposedly happened in 2017, September 23rd. But the stars did not fall and the rapture did not happen. Now we're coming up on six years since that sign went viral and was discovered. And it happens every year, family right around the Feast of Trumpets. And now I'll take you to Stellarium. And as you can see, the moon just passed Spica, what represents the wheat. And yesterday, it was in front of Spica. So when this judicial law passed, it went right by Spica as it passed. And most of you know, our father made seven feast dates. And the next one approaching is the Feast of Trumpets, Rosh Hashanah. And as you can see right here, it says 2023. It will begin on the evening of Friday, September 15th, and end at sundown on Sunday, September 17th. Yom Teruah, the Feast of Trumpets. And most of you know, immediately following the Feast of Trumpets is the SDG 2023 Summit at the United Nations, September 18th and 19th. The seven-year deal from 2023 to 2030. And this year, the Revelation 12 sign happens at the exact same time on the 18th and 19th. And I'll walk you through it right now. As you can see, the woman is clothed with the sun and the moon is approaching her feet. And as you go through the hours, right when it turns to the 19th is about when the moon goes below her feet. And it's right there. The woman is clothed with the sun and the moon is under her feet. On 919, the same day they're doing the seven year deal. But it gets bigger. It gets gigantinormous. Revelation chapter 12 And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. 
Well, I'm going to get comments. Well, where's the 12 stars? They happened in 2017. And that's very far-fetched, family, because what they said was making up the 12 stars. Some of these stars were in a whole different constellation, Leo. But when you go to the head of the woman, there's Virginie stars all around her head. I've counted them out before. And that's more likely making up the crown. And it goes with the five wise and the five foolish virgins. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. So I just want to point out that this year when the Revelation 12 sign is happening, what they call the red planet is right by the woman's stomach possibly ready to devour her child as soon as it's born but it gets bigger as you can see the asteroid yeshua like yeshua and yahuwah combined is right by the moon that people say represents the bride on 918 and 919 right as we're going into the revelation 12 sign Right there, you can see the woman is clothed with the sun, the moon's under her feet, with the asteroid Yeshua, and what they call planet Mars, the red planet, this wandering star, is right by her stomach. This is the best picture of what could be the Revelation 12 sign that I've seen. But it keeps getting bigger. Not only is the asteroid Yeshua, right by the moon, when this happens, right when they're doing the seven-year deal, the asteroid America is right there too. Right at the tip of Hydra, the snake. Right next to Yeshua and the moon. And as you can see, the asteroid Iris is right there. And the asteroid Ceres is right there. They're both in the mix. Now I'll take you to Earth Sky. Venus brightest now in the evening sky for 2023. If you remember, and we've been watching it, Venus was the brightest in the evening around July 7th. And when you scroll down, you can see it right here. And it will be brightest again in the morning sky around September 19th, 2023. And right on that same day, 919, when the Revelation 12 signs happening, right there, the wandering star they call Mercury is in what they call Leo, the lion. And right there, you can see what they call the bright morning star, Venus, right by what they call Cancer and Hydra. Now, here's what's so gigantinormous about that. Right when Venus is its brightest, the asteroid named after Queen Esther is right by what they call the bright morning star, Venus. At its brightest time. And the king's always as brightest when his queen is right next to him. And you already know, we'll be the happiest we've ever been when we're with Jesus Christ, the king of kings. Now back to the Revelation 12 sign and what they call Mars, the red planet, being by the woman's stomach. When this happens, and this article is from last year and says dragon feature on Mars. And they're saying they caught this picture of Mars in a pattern resembling a dragon, and that's exactly what it looks like. And again, Israel is about to go into a civil war. It's the featured post on the Times of Israel. Wake up, Israel. Civil war is on its way. Well, that means we don't have much time before these signs have to be fulfilled. That means we don't have much time before Jesus Christ comes to get us. Because Jesus Christ said when he's revealed, people will be eating and drinking and planting and building and buying and selling and getting married and given in marriage. Well, that's not going to be happening if Israel goes into a civil war like Syria. Again, that means these signs have to happen immediately. And I'm probably at the top of the list for hoping that we leave immediately. I'm hoping that it's right now, today, tomorrow, immediately. 
and it's high watch time right now. Israel's 10 hours ahead of us. And again, tomorrow's the ninth of Av. On 726 Harpazo. I've been seeing this for years. And if we're still here on August 1st, it's to be Av, the day of love. And it's the second supermoon of this series of four. And you already know, tons of our brothers and sisters have had dreams of two moons during the rapture. And in August, there's two moons. In the second one, it makes it a blue moon. Now back to July right now. More and more I've been seeing Christmas in July. And I was talking with DJ Two Moons about it. And he sent me this. Christmas in July is today. July 25th. And if you remember Christina's dream... 725 was there, but nobody could find 811. Everyone was panicking, freaking out, trying to find 811, but they couldn't. And here's another possible scenario, and I've showed you this. SpaceX used to be called the Red Dragon. And when you zoom in, you can see the dragon right there on the shuttle. And here's what's gigantinormous. Tomorrow, SpaceX, the Red Dragon, is targeting 726 for their next launch on the 9th of Bob. And while we're waiting to be caught up, I caught this. Russia's Luna 25, Moon Lander, reaches launch site for August 11th liftoff. 811, fam. So keep your heads up, family, because we see the day approaching. And we're expecting him, so we won't be caught off guard. Romans 8.11 But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. And you'll be caught up.